hey there everyone back again with another video and in this video we're gonna move forward in our flutter series and uh, if you have been watching my series then you know that i'm working on whatsapp clone we are trying to replicate the features of whatsapp um, the ui clone and we're not going to go in the back end and other stuff but uh, we are trying to make that the ui and other stuff so um, we are stuck at a point in which i want to add the dark theme that we have in our whatsapp app but uh, we are facing that issues so being my application is in a speed run so i will not be able to explain those steps so now i'm gonna explain what we will be doing because i thought that i can make the application using provider because on google i have heard about providers and block uh, but today we are not gonna go in the provider and block stuff we are just gonna use simple notify listeners uh, in order to make our application okay i have not practiced it yet okay so i think that it can go a little bit longer so just grab your snacks grab your coffee in order to understand the application you can see that i have a boilerplate i haven't added any of the thing in the code and i think that um, the uh, font is big enough for you all to understand okay and you can see that this is the running app and the point i click it the yeah everything is working fine so firstly what i want to do i just want to do is that the point i click at this button everything should change firstly it should be a dark theme then it should go to light theme sorry firstly it should be at light theme then it should transfer to dark theme okay so let us just come at this point and start coding okay so firstly okay uh, firstly we will do nothing we will just gonna remove each and everything and we are gonna start from scratch i have removed everything and now i will create a stateless widget that will be my app okay and now this will not be a container it will be a material app material app okay so inside this material app we will be firstly returning a title so you can give any title dark theme tutorial okay and uh, then we will just remove that debug banner banner as false yeah and after that we will just set it home as home page i'm not gonna create a new page i'm gonna create this class just below it okay and just above it what we can do we can just give a theme as theme data and inside this theme data uh, what we will do we will just give a background okay background color background color uh, background color i'm gonna give it a color as colors dot white yeah uh, it will be perfect and now we are gonna create a stateful widget that will be a home page home page okay so we have created everything now what we'll do we'll just gonna create a scaffold i'm not uh, um, taking care of that um, other stuff like safe area and other thing because the main focus of this tutorial is to create a application that shows you how to create um, how to switch themes okay so i'm not gonna go with that so we are creating a fab okay floating action button dot extended we are gonna go with that and now inside this okay you can just use everything so in this label i'm gonna go with the text and here i am i will say that switch themes okay and this on pressed will be removed for now time being and now what i will do just for a sake i will add a icon also okay so just a minute should i should do align it like this icon and in that icon i, I will say that icon and icons dot do i have anything brightness brightness yeah so 
let us run it and see what output comes okay uh, so let it okay you can see that uh, everything is working fine okay uh, so let's okay so you can see yes we have a thing like this and uh, nothing is currently happening because we haven't added anything so what now we can do okay so we can add other stuff like we can add a body and in this body we can add a center text so that we can see do we have some of these stuff so we will add a text and in this text we will just add hello world just a basic thing okay now so how to start okay there is a feature that is the what you can say uh, change notifiers we are gonna use that stuff in order to create everything okay and the uh, code will be given in the description github link will be in the description you can just go and check it out so firstly what we will do we'll just create a class okay we are gonna create a class and I'm gonna give it name as uh, my theme okay and it will be a class with a change notifier change notifier okay so in this change notifier what we will have we will have a, a static variable static bool variable which will decide currently we are at dark or not okay so what we will just say that is dark okay and we will set it as false currently we are not at dark theme okay and now i'm what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create a theme that will just return as the current theme so current theme okay so current theme and this will just return uh, what it will return it will just return the is dark okay so firstly let me just set it as this is dark and if it is dark then just return theme mode okay theme mode dot dark and uh, then we'll just say that theme mode dot light okay so we are getting this and we are getting issue because we have set it as like this okay so a uh, theme mode dot theme data not it should be theme mode okay now now what we'll do we'll just create a void function which will just say that switch mode okay switch mode switch tch okay we have created a function and it will just uh, what it will do it will just to revert every uh, is dark so firstly it will check it, if it is true then it will convert it to false and if it is false then it is converted to true and after that we will just call the notify listener function okay so the point everything changes we call this function it will call this notify listener and this notify listener which will help us uh, to uh, change each and everything okay so now what we can do okay so firstly let us go to our stateless widget the thing we have created everything we have to play here is this okay so what we can do firstly let us come here and check one thing Uh, okay leave it so now what we can do we can just uh, uh, gonna change this it widget okay and uh, inside this theme the theme that we are using that is the by default themes we are gonna change them okay and uh, work around with it okay so what we can do okay so firstly what we can do we can just come here and uh, um, we can just add a theme we have already have a theme so now we can just go like this theme data dot light okay and dark theme okay so dark theme will be uh, theme data dot dark okay but to basically if we do these things okay what will happen is that 
if we change the settings from our application that just use the dark theme that that most of the application has of the uh, feature of that dark theme then only this thing will work okay but uh, we don't want to use that we want to say that yes every time uh, i click on this button just change the theme okay so how we can do that okay so for that uh, what we can say we can just create the init uh, state function okay and we can just say that void init state okay and this function will be overrided okay so this function will be overrided uh, override override oh, sorry it should not be like this okay and now we will just call the super dot and it should call it init state okay and now what we'll do we will just use this my theme thing in our application so firstly what we'll do we'll just create an instance of this thing okay so firstly we'll just create the my theme and just we'll just say that current theme okay we'll just call the new my theme okay and inside this what we'll do we'll just go at this point and we will just set everything like uh, uh, current theme dot add listener okay so we have a add listener and inside this add listener what we will do we will just set the state okay we'll just set the state like this okay and yeah uh, and we are getting some of the issues why so firstly uh, inside this what we'll do uh, okay so firstly we will just set the theme mode because we have our three theme mode so current theme okay so now okay so we are facing some issues here okay so why we are getting this issue okay so let us just to uh, see it we have uh, in state we have overrided it uh, and uh, is not defined in a super class on this okay 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 so let us just uh, figure it out why we are getting this so the thing was that we this is our stateless widget and we have to convert this thing in a stateful widget okay so what we will do uh, we are not uh, gonna use this can we directly convert this thing to stateful widget uh, because as of i know this thing will uh, contain uh, i think it will contain stateful widget and uh, okay so for this thing we have to uh, play around with it okay so firstly let me just remove everything from here and uh, let this is our home page so we are not gonna touch the home page uh, so let me just comment this out because i need some of the code from here and we are gonna use this stateful widget and my app okay yes now it's done and now inside this return thing what we are gonna do uh, in this return we are just gonna comment it out and we are gonna just copy the uh, or cut this thing from here and paste it here okay yeah so now everything is working fine 
so let us just save and see whether we are getting everything fine or not we got a issue but i don't think that we're facing anything here here okay uh, it's not a type of stateless is it in cast type in type cast okay so do this thing needs to be a yeah this needs to be a stateless widget as of i know so okay so firstly let me just add uh, those thing let me just restart it and see i think this is the issue that um, the stateless widget my app should be a stateless widget starting and after that every child can be a state um, widget okay so we are not getting a issue so what i will do here i will call a init function init state and inside this we have a super so what we'll do we'll just call the current theme dot add listener and inside this add listener uh, what i will do first i will just print which will just tell me that it is clicked and we will then set a state okay for timing i'm not gonna set the state and let's see we are not getting any of the output right now okay why so we have a dark theme we have everything so current theme we come here Okay, I think we can do current theme. Okay, so why we are not getting? We have one second. Uh, wow. Okay, 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 okay. It will not work. Uh, because we haven't added things here sorry 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 so we should add something like this current theme dot uh, switch mode save now and now we should i think it should work Okay, so nothing is happening. Why? Let me just restart everything and check. okay yeah you can see we are getting the add output and okay so we are getting the theme you can see that everything is now getting converted and uh, dark to that thing and uh, if uh, you want to create your own theme you can create your own theme i think it should be like this you can create your own theme mode and inside this thing there are many of the mm, many things how uh, you can just google it out how to create your own theme mode or you can just go after it and you can see that this is the enum mode so you can see you can just play around with it in order to um, check what the output okay so how we can do that 
but uh, now i think you can understand that how we can convert our application and how we can add a dark theme in our application and uh, i think if you want to add uh, your own theme so you i think it is the theme data um, and inside you you can create your own theme data with your accent color and everything and after that you can just use it if this is the theme mode then you can just uh, uh, go over here theme and inside this you can directly just call those thing dot current theme like we have done uh, here so i'm not gonna do it you can just play around with it and if you face any of those issues then just comment me down and i will definitely get back to you on that my application is now working fine yeah so that's all for today thank you have a nice day